Today on the Texas Health Out Loud podcast, we're talking about breast cancer, specifically a test for a breast cancer gene. It allows you to find out if you carry a gene that could increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancers. Dr. Rada Iyengar with Texas Health Allen will join us to talk about the breast cancer gene, as well as the gene tests that can provide a head start in breast cancer prevention. The Texas Health Out Loud podcast starts now. From Texas Health Resources in Arlington, Texas, this is Texas Health Out Loud, a medical podcast featuring industry professionals, hospital leaders, and experts discussing healthcare topics that affect you and our community. Texas Health Out Loud starts now. Hello and welcome to the Texas Health Out Loud podcast. I'm Susie Solis. Thanks for joining us. More than a quarter of a million new cases of breast cancer are expected to be diagnosed this year in the U.S. What if you can know ahead of time if you're at risk for breast cancer before a diagnosis? A simple test is making that possible by detecting a breast cancer gene. Here to talk about it is Dr. Rada Iyengar, who is a fellowship-trained breast surgeon, as well as medical director of the Breast Care Center at Texas Health Allen. Hi, Dr. Iyengar. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Susie, for having me. So tell me, what is the breast cancer gene? So the breast cancer gene is uh, one of several genes that actually increase the risk of developing breast cancer in women who have these particular mutations in their DNA. So this is a really important service that Texas Health offers. Do a lot of people take advantage of it? Yes, those patients who are candidates for having genetic testing definitely do take advantage of it, and we're proud to offer that service at Texas Health. Uh, Texas Health sees more patients from North Texas than any other hospital, uh, so we feel like it's a very important service to offer our patients. So how do women find out if they have the gene? So typically they see a specialist, uh, find out if they're at risk for having one of these mutations, uh, and if the breast surgeon or the specialist feels that they're someone who are who is at increased risk for having one of these mutations, uh, we do testing uh, for a panel of tests that look for these gene mutations in their blood. Yeah, tell me a little bit about what that test actually looks for. So specifically, depending on the company that does the testing, we are looking for several genes that increase the risk of breast cancer. The most common genes are the BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. Um, So these are the most common, and these are the ones with the highest risk of developing breast cancer. And so they search for breast cancer and ovarian cancer? Uh, The BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes specifically have an increased risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Depending on whether you have a BRCA1 or a BRCA2 gene, you may be at increased risk for other types of cancer in addition to breast and ovarian cancer. So anyone can get this test, but not everybody necessarily needs it. Right. So there are certain criteria that we look at. when we're looking at patients who uh, qualify for genetic testing, genetic testing is very expensive. Uh, and for insurance companies to cover the cost of the testing, women need to meet certain criteria. Some of those criteria include having family history of breast and ovarian cancer, having other rare types of cancers in the family, um, having breast cancer at a young age. So we look at all of these things and determine what's the likelihood that a patient or a woman has uh, a risk for having one of these mutations. So let's say you do have cancer in your family. Who should you talk to if you're considering getting tested? The first step is to talk to your primary care doctor, see if they have the ability to do the testing. A lot of primary care offices um, do offer genetic testing for patients that they feel are uh, at increased risk for having one of these gene mutations. Uh, If the uh, practice doesn't offer it, they will send the patient or refer the patient to a specialist or to a genetic counselor who can do the testing and appropriate counseling of the risks of doing the testing. Well, thanks so much for that information. That's going to do it for today's Texas Health Out Loud podcast. And I'd like to thank Dr. Rada Iyengar again for joining us today. At Texas Health, we're partnering with you for a better North Texas. To hear more Texas Health Out Loud podcasts, visit our website at texashealth.org slash out loud. And you can subscribe to our podcasts on iTunes and Google Play. I'm Susie Solis. Thanks for joining us for Texas Health Out Loud. Out Loud.